Hi there, this is Michael from Mike and Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple mouse over image swap. So it looks like that. Alright. And I'm just going to teach you how to do that real quick. So the first thing we have is we have our index file, or whatever you want to call this file. And your two pictures will, which I will open up and show you. So we've got this one. <coughs> Uh, this is icon one, which is right there. At right here, icon one, and icon two. All right, so now we have our index file right here, and you just and we also work with the um in this tutorial not just the mouse over but we work with preloading images so we don't have lag on um on this so like if I went like here I'll just take out the preloading and if I do this again and if I go over it oh, see it kinda takes a little bit the first time not right here because I'm just running it on my system, but you know, if you were on a server, it would start going slow. Alright, so let's get started. So, the first, let me just clear this out. Okay. Now, let's start from a blank canvas. The first thing we're going to want to do is working on preloading our images. How we're going to do this is we're going to just make some JavaScript. Let's make your JavaScript tags. Then you're going to want to go. Um, if document dot images yeah I think wait just like let me check yeah okay I thought so <coughs> document dot images then you want to go or image is equal yeah is equal to new image break wait just a sec okay Right here, okay. You need to make this image one. Okay. Then you go image one dot source is equal to icon one dot gif or whatever your first image is called. Then do the same thing for the other image. Icon to dot gif. Okay. Now we're done with that part, and you're going to want to go and create a link, just a simple link. Okay. Then go in and create a basic image tag. Now, <coughs> first thing you're going to want to do on the link is you want to go just make the link to um, the pound symbol and or the number symbol whatever you you prefer to call it then you're going to want to go on mouse over 
equals quotes and then on mouse out equals and then quotes. Now on mouse over we're gonna go, want to go document dot but dot um I think it's image. Let me check just a sec. Just ignore me right now. Oh, okay. Document dot source. You're gonna want to change this to um or put it as icon one dot gif or no on mouse over is two. Then for it's gonna be the same thing on here. I forgot to put that. <coughs> You're gonna wanna do document dot but dot source equals on one dot gif or and then this is but right here that's going to be whatever you want your image to be called which we'll establish later okay so what we're gonna wanna do now for establishing this image is we're gonna wanna put a space in the image and go name equals and this is where that comes into play but and I'm just randomly making that up then you're going to want to do width and height and let me just check those real quick 100 by 50 okay so 100 by 50 then just a second Just a moment, guys. Oops, sorry. All right. Now, and then that's pretty much all. I'm just going to add border equals zero, and then um, alt equals, and then I'll just put dot dot dot. Da, da, da. Save that. Refresh it in your browser. It's not loading the first time though. Let me see what I did here. Um. That's supposed to be. In I think this is supposed to be in parentheses. Huh. Here, I'll I'll pause the video and come back to it in just a second. Bye. All right, I'm back. Um you don't need these um th these uh things around here. What I did forget though, is in the image in the image tags you need a source and that needs to be icon one dot gif and then if you reload that there you go and that's pretty much it and you can le make this lead to a different web page um and yeah so that's pretty much all all right well thanks for watching bye